Hello friends, Retro Gaming now, back with Fate Ultimate Mod Pack. And since the last episode, I went fishing and caught 10 fish, and I had pretty decent luck. You saw I got several rare items. We've seen Rebus Gloves and Ares Belt before. So, what I want to go do is talk to this guy who's going to enchant everything. It cost me $200, and then I can sell that, and hopefully get some more cash. So, 48000 and 539 that's not worth too much. We did find... Terra Teleranha's ring. So we've seen this before. This is like a slight improvement, but really not too good. And we did find a couple of fish here. I want to see what this boot does. The wild bitch. Because <laughs> um, it's kind of a weird thing. Oh, it's a dog. How about that? That's actually kind of cute. Um, okay, so before we continue on, I want to check the spells. As I would like to... PPE Morph. Uh, so Shrike and PPE Morph. I'm going to see what we have in our book right now. It's 55, so it's about a similar level. So I don't know if it's uh, useful. Draconite Illusion, Summon a Wraith. Yeah, probably we want something higher than 55. I mean, so the advantage of Shrikes is they're pretty much neutral. They don't have any type. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, except we got this Grand Kadvari spell last time, which I thought was pretty good. So we can go ahead and pick that up. Really what I was looking for was my group healing spell, because I think we need to upgrade that a little bit. But maybe Jackdaw's got one. Nope. Whatever this is, it's really expensive. Zombie Brain Brew. Alright, so real quick, before we head back into the dungeon, let's just see if there's any upgrades that we can purchase. Mm -hmm. Um, surely some sort of ring would be good, so I can buy this. Let's see, 10% attack P, 15 charm magic, there we go. The feral ring, we've seen the feral ring before. And 4 sword skill, perfect. This is like exactly what we need for our, uh, our setup right now. We could buy some earrings too. 5 attack magic, 4 vitality. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now our, our default movement speed is pretty fast, and our running movement speed is really fast. And if I do haste, we are really fast. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not you. Who's the healer? Somewhere over here. Her. All right, so we've got our healer. Let's get our whatever they're called back. And then we'll return to dungeon level 10. Insufficient money. Not enough money. And keep on going. So we were in... Uh, it wasn't the sunken ship. I can't remember what it was called. It was very blue. It was like a cave. Underground prison, that's right. So we were heading back towards the exit. <laughs> oh, I'm so fast. This is ridiculous. And the thing is, we have so much vitality now where... Um, we pretty much don't have to worry about running at all. So, let's uh, get going. And our charm magic skill, too, is very high. So I go to skills, I got the extra sword skill, but 31 charm magic skill. And so that's going to put us at, you know, some 46, some high level... Some high level guys. So we got BK Goblin. And I think with these upgrades, we're going to end up being quite a bit more powerful. Enough where I think we can probably use the stairs right now. So go ahead and descend deeper into the dungeon, because we're only trying to get to level 15, I believe. Ah, some legendary enemies. Wait a minute. Is this really where we're trying to go? I thought we were in a different dungeon. Let me just check quests. No, we're going to Sunken Temple. Yeah, so I'm in the wrong place. We actually need to go back home. So I was trying to think, wait, something, something didn't quite seem right, and that's what it was. So I guess there's a portal back to every dungeon we have. So this portal would be a little bit towards the south. So I suppose that's good to know. Or else I probably would have gone on forever. And that's why the enemies were so easy, is because we'd already beat that dungeon. So. 
This is the one we're looking for. Uh, but since we're here, let's check that group heal spell real quick. Mass revival spell. It's not quite what we want, is it? Just looking around, uh, I am not seeing it, unfortunately. There's the greater heal spell, but that's just me. Looking for the group heal spell. Alright. Summon Crypt Shambler, huh? I have no money. <laughs> That's the other thing, is I need an Identify spell. I need, like, the default charm utility spells, which you always have. Which I'm not seeing here. That's the thing, when, there, when there's so many... So many total spells, the chance of finding that specific one you're looking for kind of goes down. But that's okay. We're do certainly doing all right, and I, I don't really mind using the books too much if we need to. We have the holy hand Wait a minute. <laughs> this still might be the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, it's not this one. It's the sunken temple. All right, I promise I'm going to get it right this time. Hey, at least we get to hear a little bit of that nice little catchy pirate music. We have the holy hand grenade. Sunken temple, here we go. That's right, we had this dead end. Well, I can just run. <laughs> He can almost keep up with me, actually. Looks like he's slowing down just a touch. With that stamina orb, I can go forever. Alright, so it looks like we want to go all the way up here. Probably want to slow down at some point. Yeah, so if I turn off running, we're still like really moving quite quickly. <laughs> we have the holy hand grenade. I don't even know what that means. Is it like a reference to something? The noises they make are just so funny. Alright, note to self, do not use rage attack. That causes the game to crash. So now I gotta go all the way back. Use haste. Just so we can really book it. <laughs> We're just so ridiculously vast. So yeah, what happens is I press space bar to use the rage attack and the game crashed. So, I'm not going to hit the space bar anymore. Oops, nope. I was just trying to think we might as well use my stamina for something. But it looks like there's going to be nothing here, so we'll actually go back towards the other place, which was the right direction. I've been careful. I back this game up after every episode, just so we don't have run into any problems like last time. So at the worst, it's like an hour that we lose. But once I uh, find something which gives me a lot of money, you know, what I'm going to do is buy, hire out my, uh, my previous character again. You can even hire out both characters. Uh, unless there's something on the other character which causes it to crash. So that's a little risky. I guess I'd have to make sure it's backed up. Tricorn hat. Can't use that. Man, I must have so many movement speed increases. Take out some hammerheads. A hammerhead. Then 
we'll descend the stairs. Level 6. We're trying to get to 15, I believe. Flawless Grouper. Worthless to me. Giant Eel. Yeah, I think so. My biggest problem right now is I'm kind of fragile. I take a lot of damage. I feel like at some point that's going to come back to haunt me. Especially since I'm using, like, as I mentioned before, the close range weaponry. What really what I want is long distance. Summon Succubus spell. Ooh, 75 magic. You have the Holy Hand Grenade? So if we can get up to 75, which... Yeah, it'll take us a while. But that's another improvement. Yes, yeah, so they definitely deal enough damage on their own. You just gotta sort of get out of the way and avoid hits. And of course I have this... Oops, this spell, which I want to put F1. If I go to a book, I can see how much damage this does. 30 to 40, 34 to 40. It's not great. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. It at least allows me to get some range damage. And if I want, I could start to invest a little bit more in attack magic. I just think the spell's really cool. Alright, so guys are disappearing. We're gonna have enough. Not quite enough mana, come on. Alright, my pet's fleeing. So I should actually heal him up. I'll use one of the healing charms on him. Turn around. Send some of these mediocre attacks backwards. Finish him off with my hook hands. The problem is I move so fast when I just move around to like get a better defensive position. My guys follow me when I want them to keep attacking. Some mortals are starting to uh, gain some some defensive abilities though, which could be nervous. Could make me nervous. I'm trying to figure out how I came in over there and then ended up on this side. I mean, I guess I'm here, I might as well continue down, but pretty soon I think I should start clearing out every level. Just so we don't get in too deep. Ha 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 ha. Are you but yeah, I think I'm going to invest a little bit in attack magic. Um, once I level up. Slipped up this. What I really need is just one of those magic rings with a ridiculous amount of attack magic skills. And I mean, of course, if I want to, I, guess, I suppose I can always pay money and get my renown up. But that's going to happen eventually anyway. Fortified. Has been 
last run. Of course, then you know the other aspect to it is spell casting. But, you know, honestly, it really just seems like I need to be more defensive. And I mean, you know, like I've mentioned before, fighting with hook hands is not necessarily the best setup for this type of magic. Oh, I see. So every time one of these gets, the electrical weakness goes up a little bit. It's a nice little effect, I suppose. It kind of stacks. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't do much, but over a period of time, it might add up. And seeing as this uses basically no mana, it could be pretty effective. Eventually, that's the problem. Not immediately. And what I really need is some sort of health regeneration. That's one thing I'm set certainly missing in terms of stats. So I'm going to go down over here and hopefully level up from some enemies in here. Some Slyptopus, Slyptopi, Slyptopides, depending on what you think the plural of octopus is. You know, the octopus is actually my favorite animal. I just think it's fascinating how uh, intelligent they are. I don't know if you've ever read those stories, but the octopi oftentimes like will escape from zoos, and so they'll they're smart enough to like figure out all these crazy ways out that they never even thought of, like going up the pipes or you know air filters, all this stuff. Ooh, I mean, speaking of which, we got a boss. Hammer and of the cursed, and I want to get as many of these. Electrical resistances as possible. If you see this time, if he starts with one, oh, I see it's a resistance. I said resistance, and I meant weakness. Get out of the way, but we can level up real quick. And what did I say we were gonna do? Defense or attack magic? Attack magic, right? I think we want to keep that mo or magic going. So you can slowly whittle that electrical weakness down. Looks like these don't last forever. We have to remember, soon we're going to need to summon more of these. I mean, it might be done before then. Gun down to 12. Alright, we're going to suck at 12 before the effects wear off. So we've at least reduced his resistance a little bit. Alright. What about this Horus Bow? 8 to 51. So let me just check. 78 to 119, 48 to 118. Yeah. Not massive difference, but the question is, um, does this significantly impact anything else? That magic bonus and the 15 damage dealt bonus. I think we can deal with it. Too bad I can't use that. That seems like a lot better. I need 56 dexterity though, and I am close to it. I could get it on the next level up, so I guess I could save that. But this bow will be good for us as we uh, play um, distance game a little bit more. And make sure we don't run out of summons. Get the last one. At least the enemies in this dungeon are very slow moving. The nice thing is this electrical damage synergizes with my weakness caused by this blast. 
So it actually ends up working out pretty well. Dead end. Rough. See, look, he's so slow. Of course, he does have quite a bit of, uh, Resistance to damage and a piercing weakness. That's good. Well, I guess since he's pushed us over here, we might as well do this. Ooh, Bat Hammer the Assassin. Try to uh, get as far away from him as we can. Got that electrical resistance, which is unfortunate. If I can get the subtopus out of the way, that'll be good first. Go ahead and heal my pet up. I didn't even see a shrimp. All right, we'll start to whittle away Bat Hammer's health. Well, they'll do that, and I'll get the subtopus out of the way. Oh, he's not dead. I saw that big, like, shaking motion as if something big had died, but I guess not. Alright, Norderiety has grown. That's what we were looking for. We'll put this all in. Attack magic. So now our spell does... 40 to 44. Yeah. That's actually not too good. I need to get a better attack spell if that's something I'm interested in seriously pursuing. I'm going to grab that healing orb. And we'll continue on to level 10. Right after that, we got some immortals. Massively tanky enemies. See, the nice thing is if I could find something which made me enough money where I could uh, buy off or buy my previous character, he can use all these group buffing spells. He ultimately ended up as a bowcaster too, right? So I think that would work well. <laughs> These shrimp are so funny because they're just tiny. What are you doing? Keep fighting. Oh, must have missed something. Of course it's a shrimp. It's hidden underneath the body. I don't know how long I can deal with these guys saying we have the holy hand grenade. I'm a little worried about that tiger shark. It's coming right up to me. Poisoned? Tiger sharks aren't poisonous, are they? Yeah, this spell really needs to be upgraded. You know, one good thing is, though, the game feels a lot more balanced this time around than the first time. I don't know if it's just because of this specific dungeon. Because I, I assume these dungeons are made by different people. But we're fairly uh, quickly... Gaining experience, we're almost a third of the way to the next level. 
You know, with disadvantage of this bow is its fire rate is a lot slower. But you know what? I just completely forgot. You can have two weapon sets. So why not have two weapon sets? So I can go back and forth whenever I need to. Yet, summon vampire. That's not me. Summon succubus. That's the one that's multiple levels away. Yeah, that's further away, especially because we don't have that. Those uh, advantages from the gloves. Yeah, so there's the stairs. Avoid getting poisoned. Down we go to level 11. Strong of learning, what do we got? Magic has been reduced by one point. That's the second time that's happened. Ah, am I feeling lucky? Oh, Hammerhead. Didn't even see him there. Oh, another one. They're circling like sharks. Possibly because they are sharks. I hate being in this pattern, the run for your life pattern. Get off a healing spell whenever we can. Keep on moving. Because if we don't do that, we take a lot of damage. The problem is, if we stop and can't deal any damage, it takes a long time to get out of the trap. But with one of those down, I think we should be a lot better, so I just aim at that tiger shark first. And try and keep him on the other side of the stairs. He could run, too. I haven't even been running. Will I tempt fate? What should we tempt fate with? I mean, I really need better shoes. <laughs> I feel like probably I should return to town just to stock up a little bit. I just don't have a lot of cash. That's the only problem. I need to find a, uh, a fishing hole in the dungeon. That's really what I need. I mean, we're kind of like supposed to be underwater as it is. So they might not have actually programmed them in. Or, you know, the other option we could be go back to the domain of Raw and get some more intensely overpowered items. He's not dead yet. That's the mistake I always made in Torchlight, is thinking something's dead before it really is. Torchlight was just hard for me to tell what was going on sometimes, because the characters are so small. This game's a little bit more cartoony in a different way, so it's easier for me to understand. It's just easier to see somehow. No keys, alright. Ooh, Nalik. It's a rare item. Let's um, send some stuff over to my pet. That we're saving. This we're not going to use. Turn my pet into Garial Basilisk. Your pack is full. Excuse me. Set sneeze. 
So we'll uh, take care of these enemies before I uh, go after seeing what that Nalik is. so hard to do, but again, we just need to focus on one enemy at a time. Or else it just takes forever and we take a lot of extra damage. Like that eel with his, like, swinging attack. It's not a lot of experience, though, like 200. Alright, so we have three levels left. I'm going to go back to town real quick and sort of regroup and just see if we can buy any upgrades because we are going through these levels fairly quickly, perhaps too quickly. Alright, so back in town. First, we'll go identify our items. Well, we can heal first. No, not you. Then I'll identify my items. And we'll sell some. 22,000. That's really not too much, is it? Sell these cards. Sell that. And that. This will keep for later. We suppose you should keep some fish. Mono Charm I can put there, I guess, but I don't really use it. Sell, 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 sell. Maybe I'll use this one day. Sell, sell, sell. That can go away. Put this here. This will go there. Sort, sort. Put that Secret of Skies in here. Um, now let's check for spells real quick. That's not the right one. Nosferatu spell. What does she have? <coughs> Maybe we should do Meteor Strike. I think that's probably an improvement. Shocking Burst, though, I think is really what I'm looking for. So I go to my book. Oops. 29 to 92. 39 to 44. I don't know. It's really not too great. Oops. But maybe it's enough. What I really need is gloves. I can't believe I'm not wearing any gloves. Okay. Uh, definitely need to upgrade that. So go ahead and reset. That cute little Gary little Basilisk. I like how he looks. Two point one billion dungeon floors if you choose to go deep delving. I'd get pretty sick after 2.1 billion floors. Especially because there's a level cap. I don't know what it is in this game. It's not you. Oh, he's in there. Can't talk to him. Oh, maybe I can. Nope. So this is the one I was using, which is really not too good. Alternate monster... Empire Bat, PP Morph. Transforms me into a level 1 Griffin. Huh. Interesting. I was just trying to think if there's any reason I'd want to do that. I don't know if there is. Alright, so we gotta reset one more time. Just so this guy hopefully comes out of the building. See, you know, the eye drops do have the ability to cure blindness, but I thought it was mostly worthless that they added them. I think it was this game that added them. It's like you're almost never blind. Hive heal. 10 HP plus 3 for defense skill level. So let's compare this to plus 2 per skill. That's. 
20 plus 2. So just, that's probably actually, that one's better if I have more skill points. I don't know if I have enough where it's worth it. Naga spell. Thunder dragon. Timberwolf. Yeah, really, I just want the standard group heal. Like this. Well, hmm. see, that's not even better, though. That's the same. Uh, anyway. Go back to uh, Collier. And I just don't have the cash, do I? That's an awesome looking hammer, though. All right, well, I guess we're just going to have to keep going, aren't we? I really just need to f find... We have the holy hand grenade. Find a place to... Uh, to fish. I don't know what the chance of that happening is. I mean, I'm going to get rid of these boots eventually anyway. My tally's been raised by three points. Great. Uh-oh. Don't want to run out of these guys. Already? What if I just ran to the end? But I can't try the shocking burst spell now. Oh, that takes so much, so much um, mana. It's not even worth it. So I'm gonna have to set F2 as my primary attack spell there. You know, starting to get to the point where it's taking more and more time to kill these enemies. But the thing is, once we finish this dungeon, we're going to go to a new new dungeon where probably things will be easier. Yeah, just because I move over to the other side doesn't mean stop attacking, guys. I was, I was, I was going to buy some uh, charms and I forgot to. Have triggered a trap. Nice, some sockets. I wonder how my previous character would have done on this dungeon. This definitely seems like a more balanced dungeon. Blasted. Lobster King down. Stairs down. Stairs down, why not? Let's go straight to 15. I think we can probably deal with it. Maybe a little tough. But we definitely don't want to run, because this is a small floor. Great Kraken. That's him over there. So at least we know where he is. So we know not to go over there because we want to take these guys out first. When I say not go there. Pet is fleeing already. I guess I'll use this on him. I just don't want to accidentally need it for me. Alright, so I'm going to have to run and run. Oops, I'm stuck. I don't want to do that. Get to the other side. Time for some healing spells. Alright, now we'll have to take out these immortals. The Great Kraken's on the other end of the wall. Well, I saw him over there. But really, I want to hopefully only attack him at once. So that's why I'm trying to move around to the side and uh, 
take care of everyone else first. Problem is, there's only so much room this way we can go. I think I should get him there. Alright, who's next? The immortal. Hundred percent magical resistance. I don't think I have anything that strictly does magical damage. I mean, stop running. Move around to this side. <laughs> I am definitely looking forward to not having to deal with these squires anymore. <laughs> They're just kind of obnoxious. You know, they get the job done eventually. Like, hey, like, keep fighting. Like, seriously, they just stop after a while. So, mortals kind of remind me of Hokron Hokro, because you look at that over there, you can see it. It's so big, it's going through the wall. Uh oh, looks like he's attacking. Giant tentacle. You really want to kill this guy first, though. Alright, so I'm going to stay back and let them do what they do. Pet, has grown more pet levels up. Alright, suppose it's time to go see what the damage is. Great Kraken. That is a great Kraken. I want to come into the open space so I can really get a good look at him. Your mana is oh, good thing I got all these mana charms. Not enough mana. Your pet is fleeing. All right, I need to transform him into something. <laughs> uh, what do I need? Summon another one. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. I mean, we're slowly dealing enough damage. Whoa! Perhaps I need to take out these giant tentacles first. See if I can bait them into coming this way. The question is, does he spawn more giant tentacles? If so, that might be a problem. Not enough, Mom. But if not, then that's definitely a prerequisite, is getting as many of his minions out of the way first. Including this immortal crab, which kind of came up from the other side. It's a good thing we haven't seen any elite and legendary immortals, because I bet they would be a real pain. I definitely feel like I'm too weak already. Alright, so next up on the menu, Giant Tentacle. Seems like it takes a lot of damage, so that's good news. But they deal a lot of damage too, so I have to keep that in mind. What? What's going on? I'm stay out of the splash zone of this guy. Wish my squires would attack a little more. Squires, what are you doing? I swear the AI is such an idiot in this game. Sometimes. Now that was a mistake using that spell. Actually, probably should put this as F1. Just to make sure I don't do that again. So the tentacle's down. Don't take out this tank crab. 
and then we can start working our way in towards that giant kraken. Great kraken, that is. Whoa! You know, at least we haven't had to deal with something which has the banish spell. That's one that's a real pain. Yeah, it's going to take some time, but we're going to get there eventually. If my squires decide to keep fighting... Like, seriously. At least they're not taking a whole lot of damage. I'm alright with this right here. I can't quite tell exactly what's going on, but maybe sometimes you don't want to know. All I can see is that health bar is very slowly going down. Did he get pushed to the other side? Oh, come on. Well, he's still there. Oh, there we go. Looked like he was stuck in the wall for a while. Man, it's big. Suppose you don't get the nickname Great Kraken for nothing. I want to, like, put him, try and draw him out into the open a little bit, just so he can actually deal some more damage. The problem is he keeps, like, kind of going where the hitbox is in a place I can't get to. Ugh, wrong spell. Maybe I'll just start doing this one. This seems to have a little bit higher success rate. At least I can hit him through the wall. Which is actually probably a good spot to be in, because he can't get to me. <laughs> so we're kind of going to cheese this boss. But the thing is, I, I want him to be out here. I don't want him to be stuck in there. Because it's not as fun, but also I want my guys to help. Like now, I think they can help. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! He summons fire drakes. Or thunder drakes? Pets on the run. These guys are just fearing too. Squires, keep fighting. Who trained them, man? They don't know what honor is. So we're slowly drawing him out into a... Uh, better position for us. We're going to really get a good look at him. So my guys are distracted by the Thunder Drake. So let's bring one back. And if the Kraken's not going to attack me, I can actually slowly whittle its health down this way. Go use that on my pet. It's a good time to use it. So we're slowly, slowly getting there. At least we're not dying. That is the good news. Where's the Kraken? Come out here. Come out here and fight like a squid. Alright, the end is in sight. I just don't want him to die and his possessions fall outside the walls. I don't know if that can actually happen. But if it could, that would really be a disappointment. Got him. 
your skills. You have been granted new skills. You have completely... Didn't really drop anything, did he? All right, Boogatown portals return to town. Where are you? Somewhere over here. No? It was like a ghost, wasn't it? Here it is. Nope. I can't believe it. The great Kraken has been slain. Now the seas are safe from the tentacles of that monster forever. Thank you so much, adventurer. You'll be remembered. And I leveled up again. And looks like that's about it for this one. So we can go ahead and load up that magic, getting a little bit closer to being able to use that succubus spell. Sell some stuff, and then we can end the episode. So let's... I guess I don't have much to sell, do I? Alright, so I guess we're going to end there. This has been Retro Gaming Now. We just slayed the Kraken. And in the next episode, we will find some other place to go. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys later.